Good morning students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. Today we are going to start our very first chapter that is living and non-living things. We see many things around us. Some of these are living things and some of these are non-living things. So students, the very first question that arises in our mind is what are living things? See, living things, things that have life is called living things. For example, tree, fish, butterfly, bird, dog, flower and a boy. Now let us see what are non-living things. Things that do not have life are called non-living things. For example, ball, pencil, ice cream, balloons, teddy bear, house. So students, let us first discuss features of living things. Living things can move, living things can grow, living things need food and water, living things can breathe, living things can reproduce. So now let us discuss features of living things one by one. So the first feature is living things can move. Human beings use their legs to move around. Human beings use their legs to run, walk, etc. Animals also use their legs to move here and there. Animals without legs like snails, earthworms, snakes, crawls and fishes swim in water. Plants also show some movement like sunflower follow direction of sun. So the second feature is living things need food and water. Human beings depend upon either plants or animals for food. Animals depend upon plant or on other animals for their food. Plants prepare their own food using water, air and sunlight. The next feature is living things can grow. For example, Puppy grow into a dog. Seed grows into a plant and plant grows into a huge tree. Next feature is living things can breathe. All living beings breathe fresh air using their lungs. Plants inhale carbon dioxide from surroundings and in turn gives oxygen. So the last feature is living things can reproduce. What does reproduction mean? Reproduction is a process in which living being gives birth to young one of its own kind. For example, women gives birth to a baby, tigress gives birth to cub. Bird lay eggs from which young ones comes out and slowly grows into an adult. So, our next topic is features of non-living things. Non-living things cannot move. Non-living things cannot grow. Non-living things cannot breathe. Non-living things cannot reproduce. And non-living things does not need food and water. Students, non-living things are divided into two categories. Natural and man-made. Natural, for example, rocks and mountains. And man-made, for example, mobile phone, ball and many more. Let us discuss features of non-living things by using this ball. The first feature was non-living things cannot move. See, ball doesn't have legs to move. It cannot move. The second feature was non-living things cannot grow. See, ball cannot grow. Right? 
and the third feature was non-living things cannot breathe ball cannot breathe at all it doesn't have nose or it doesn't have lungs the fourth feature was non-living things cannot reproduce it is very clear that it cannot reproduce at all and the last feature was non-living things does not need food and water see do you treat this ball with food or does ball drinks water not at all so students now let us practice some questions the first question is which of the following is living thing so does book breathe or does books move here and there no it is not a living thing the second option is tree does tree grows yes so it is a living thing the third option is pencil does pencil move here and there does pencil grow no it is a wrong option the fourth option is teddy does teddy breathe or does teddy grow no it is also a wrong option so the right answer is tree the second question is which of the following is not a living thing first option is plant does plant grow yes it is a living thing second option is boy does boy move here and there yes does boy grow yes so it is also a living thing the third option is rock does rock grow no does rock breathe no so it is not a living thing the fourth option is bird does bird grow yes does bird move here and there yes so it is a living thing so the answer is option c that is rock students question number 3 is your homework question and we will discuss it in a next class thank you